Hey YouTube, what's up? Juju here. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and have another deck profile. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, this Corpse Explosion OTK deck that I made this past week. The deck is very fun. I love it. Um, it's very rewarding to play. You get to draw a lot of cards. It's super skill intensive. Uh, you have to be which is why I think it's more rewarding to play. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to win. It beats control decks like Board Wipe Death or Control of War, uh, and it does a crazy amount of damage in one turn. Um, and that's why I like the deck. Uh, story behind the deck, uh, one of uh, of one of my viewers reached out to me and talked about Corpse Explosion. I was like, yeah, I, I think it, it's a good card. Um, originally, I tried to make it work in Faustian Pact, but it wasn't... Uh, it was too slow, but it did warrant another look at the zombie support cards, and uh, this is what I came up with. There's a lot of synergy here. Overall, the main combo that you're going to do is uh, you want a full board of zombies, for sure. So you're going to be doing that with Outnumber the Living or Mass Rays, and if you can proc with Brimstone or Skull Scepter. Uh, from there, you get a full board. You're going to play Mark of Death, uh, which gives your zombies the afterlife that summons another zombie. And then from there, you're going to play Corpse Explosion, uh, do 18 points of damage up to upwards, uh, Necronomics into another Corpse Explosion, and uh, that's pretty much game. Uh, it, the overall combo takes 7 mana, 6 if you end up... No, 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 it's still 7. 7, um, seven mana for sure if you end up proccing... Uh, in order to guarantee the proc for the frenzy, um, but there are a lot of damage points that you can go over um, <clears throat> Yeah, just a disclaimer though before you try this deck out This deck will take a good amount of time to learn before you start winning um, The reason why this is is there are so many combo branches that you have to learn um, Also, you need to figure out how to stall you need to learn certain matchups the deck plays very unintuitively in terms of like you're not fighting for board all the time your main win condition is drawing your combo so some turns you'll be sacrificing board and health to uh, ensure that you draw the pieces that you need but yeah so just be prepared for the learning curve other than that though once you do learn the deck it's very fun to play uh, super rewarding when you pull it off as well um, as you can see here I played 17 matches and got around a 76.5 win rate um, yeah this is the final iteration of the deck for sure uh, I went through different variations, running Just a Nibble, Wind Up Roller, and Fanatic of Kanoom. Um, but those cards didn't end up making the cut just because of how fast we need to get to our win condition. Um, but yeah, overall, very good deck. Let's go ahead and uh, go over the guide. So, Mulligan and Matchup Info. Uh, for your God Power, you want to choose God ri Blood Ritual most of the time uh, against aggro decks specifically. Um, there is a use for Soul Burn, however, in really slow control matchup decks. Like if you find yourself playing against a board wipe death player, you can probably do Soul, soul Burn um, because you won't be fighting for board most of the time. Um, and also against control deception like Thief decks, I think Blood Rich or Soul Burn might be good against that as well because um, in that matchup in particular, uh, you're going to want to deal as much damage as fast as you can before they can steal your cards. Um, but yeah, overall Blood Ritual is the main go uh, god power. The main game plan, of course, is to burn your opponent down with Skull Scepter, Brimstone, Corpse Explosion. Uh, and you want to achieve that by stalling out the game with your use of Ava and the Death Rattle Afterlife Package. Sorry, I, use, I say Death Rattle because I'm used to Hearthstone, but essentially the same thing, Afterlife Package. Um, Ava is going to be key in this matchup. Vrock, Burrowing Scarab, get you your draws. Uh, Siren of the Grave, stalls for you. Canopic Hoarder, Half-Life, uh, allow you to recycle your afterlife effects. And the Trial Begins allows you to search out uh, basically anything you need in certain situations. Uh, you, it will take a turn to play, though, especially if you're playing this on curve, but it's still good nonetheless. Um, yeah, basically the deck uses the Half-Life and Canopic Hoarder engine to re reuse your afterlife effects and kind of serve as a toolbox. And uh, eventually uh, you'll get to the point where you cycle enough, you draw into your combo, and you deal a shit ton of damage. Pardon my friends. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, let's see. Mulligan info. Basically, yeah, you're looking for Ava against aggro for sure. You want usually some form of cycle or removal, so like a Blight Bomb or a Burrowing Scarab or a Vrock is wor works. Um, if you get the Sulfuric Rain, uh, Siren of the Grave combo, that also works. Um, although I will say that it's always best to, well, most of the time, it's best to play Siren of, Gr of the Grave as uh, late as possible to ensure that you're not milling a key stall card or to ensure that you don't have to obliterate um, something that would be useful. Um, so I'd usually wait until I have a dead card in my hand before I play Siren of the Grave. Uh, there will be occasions though where you don't, that doesn't happen and you do have to play it right away. So um, that's where the skill comes in because you have to know when to play what cards at certain times. Uh, overall though, deck that's pretty much it in in terms of the mulligan info you don't want to open with your combo cards you'd prefer to draw into them because you you want to play them at seven you want to play the whole combo at seven mana anyways so that won't be uh that will be in about like nine turns eight turns with a bag of tricks cool so going over the ex corpse explosion combo the main line that you're going to be playing is you're going to proc the Corpse Explosion with either a Brimstone, or if you already have Skull Scepter out, you're going to be using that to possibly trade with a minion that you have on board. Um, but on a clear board, you're going to be doing Brimstone into, uh, into Outnumber the Living or Mass Rays. Um, outnumber the living costs three mana, mass rays costs four, so be sure to do your math correctly in terms of like counting how much mana you need for the combo. Um, but typically you'll you'll set you'll set it up by playing the outnumber the living, then you'll play the mark of death, then you play the necronomics to refill your mana, corpse explosion, necronomics again, and then corpse explosion again to deal the OTK. Um, you'd want to set up your turns accordingly. So typically how I'll do the game plan is early game, I'll try to fight for board with either Vrock, Ava, or uh, sometimes Burning Scarab, not really. And then I'll use Blight Bomb as a way to control uh, tempo. From there, um, eventually I'll want to get the Siren of the Grave into the grave, ha, uh, into the void, uh, where I can use Canopic Order and Half-Life to abuse its afterlife effects. Uh, and then from there, since I'm stalling out the board, um, my opponent will most likely have at least three minions on board. Uh, so there will be situations where you don't want to kill a minion, so um, you'll, you'll want to just have your opponent's board super clogged. And then from there, you just out. Uh, once you draw the combo, you outnumber the living, and uh, pretty much just play the combo. Deck is super good, in my opinion. Um, you essentially, if you save the half life and the canopic order, uh, you're going to grant yourself at least six turns of stall, which is really good. Sulfuric Rain is also a great option in the deck uh, because it procs the Siren of the Grave, but also has synergy with your extra zombie summoning cards, like Outnumber the Living and Mass Rays to grant you additional cycle. Um, overall, very strong. If you have Skull Scepter on board and you do the Brimstone, the main line, you do about 50 health worth of damage, and that's insane really that's over overkill that's almost enough to kill your opponent twice which is really good um at five mana and you already with skull scepter already equipped you can do uh, up to 26 damage uh without the full combo which is also pretty good in my opinion uh you do skull scepter into brimstone to proc the frenzy and to outnumber the living uh to grant a full board if your opponent has at least three minions uh from there outnumber the living you play Necronomics into that Corpse Explosion. Corpse Explosion will net you 28, the Brimstone nets you 2, which is 20, and then the uh, killing the zombies will grant 6 extra damage from for Skull Scepter. Um, that's almost game. Uh, if you, you, you know, if you open with Skull Scepter and you were just trading with minions or killing off your minions, um, yeah, it's, it's super strong yeah, that could be an otk in itself that that would probably be the fastest way to win with the deck at five mana uh mind you and then also there are other like crazy combo branches i would go over them 
uh, all, I would go over all of them, but it's, it's a lot of time and there are a lot of different permutations that you can go. Uh, so I'll include some of them in the, de in the description below, but uh, it's up to you if you try to deck to really find the different ways because, yeah, there are a lot of ways to get to 30 damage with this deck and it, it's kind of crazy how strong it is. But yeah, that's, that's where I am. <clears throat> that's where we are. Sorry. <clears throat> cool. General tips... Um, so against aggro, you want to look for Eva, for sure. Uh, you want to avoid giving them resources with Vrock and Burning Scarab. Of course, there are going to be situations where you're going to have to play those cards to, um, you know, ensure your cycle. But most of the time, you'd probably prefer playing Vrock over Burning Scarab, just because Vrock at least has a body that you can use to trade with your opponent's minions. So that's that's good. Um, Ava's the MVP in aggro matchups for sure. You basically get to stall out your opponent, especially if they're running a low curve deck. Most of the time, if I proc the Ava effect, I'll leave the zombie up and just take one damage every turn uh, to ensure that I can have answers for my opponent's minions if they have more minions that cost three or less. Um, against control decks, you want to look for cycle in your minions. Um, Doing as much damage as possible so that you don't need to do the full combo is probably going to be optimal here. Also, against control decks, you'd want to play your cards um, instead of saving them, uh, unlike the aggro matchup. Uh, this is because typically in the control matchup, you'll end up with uh, full hands because neither player will want to play cards. And you don't want that because you want to uh, have at least like five or six cards in hand so that you can... Uh, activate your draw without having over, having to worry about overdrawing um, and milling key cards. So that's why you'd want to play as much cards as possible in the control matchup. Uh, and the, I will say that the control matchup typically will net you a win because of the in inevitability that you'll draw your combo. Um, the only thing that your control matchup can do is either steal your cards uh, if they're control deception or try to make you overdraw if they're board wipe death. So if you're playing those matchups, be wary of what happens there. Cool. Um, general tips. <clears throat> Hand management is crucial to playing the deck. Uh, there are a lot of, there are going to be a lot of situations where you have a sh crap ton of cards in your hand. Uh, and you need, you'll need to play cards. That's part also kind of why I save Siren, I'd, I save Siren of the Grave for the later turns because this card will help you in managing your hand. Of course, you won't be able to play. This won't be the ideal situation, or this won't be the situation all the time. But ideally, you'd want to use Siren of the Grave to keep you from overdrawing. Uh, Burning Scarab is can be a dead card sometimes because of this. Same with Vrock. Um, but if they become dead cards, that means they're Siren of the Grave Father, which is good. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you'd want to make sure you watch out with your hand management. Uh, and yeah, wait as long as you can for playing your stall cards. That's the next tip. The reason why this is, is you won't be affecting board much, uh, especially when you get closer to your combo. And if you can just stall out your, your board, prevent your opponent by doing damage without killing their board, um, that would be very beneficial for you to play your outnumber, set it up, set, set you up for the outnumber of the living play. Um, of course, you can just kill your opponent's board and wait for mass raise, but that means you, the combo is eight mana instead of seven mana, but that's also an option as well. Next up, you want to stay above 10 health. That's important. Um, because Necronomics deals 5 damage to your god. Um, usually you want to use your hero power, or your god power, sorry, like Blood Ritual to you know, on a Burrowing Scarab or maybe a zombie or one of their minions to heal up. Try to use that as much as possible. Sometimes I'll play the Canopic Hoarder, activate the stall, and then play Blood Ritual to heal a little bit. Um, also, you can use your extra zombie summoning cards as a way to heal as well, um, especially if your opponent can't deal with it without trading. Those are always good ways to heal. And then uh, next, lastly, uh, for the general tips, you can use Siren of the Grave, Sulfuric Grain combo uh, to stall, but you can also, if you can fit in, like 
an extra outnumber the living or a mass raise with that combo, that'll net you additional cycle. Uh, this is really good. Um, typically, I'd want to save my sulfuric rain to proc Siren of the Grave, um, but if you can fit in like extra cycle there, it, it works extremely well, and it fits with the win condition of the deck. Cool. I'm going to go over individual card choices now, if that's okay. So Blight Bomb is your typical one, one damage removal. This card is really good, cheap, efficient. Uh, it goes through protected, so against those aggro war matchups, you can deal with the... 3 mana, 3, 2 with Protected, uh, which is really good. Or Val Valkyries? Valkny? No. Uh, what's what's that card? The 3 mana, 3, 2 that uh, is a legendary with backline. You can deal with that card really easily. Um, but overall, it does really well in the aggro matchup as well as other minions. Also serves as a way to proc Siren of the Grave if you've already used your Sulfuric Rain or you don't have Sulfuric Rain. Brimstone is a way to proc Frenzy in the deck, uh, achieves that, but also achieves ex additional cycle as well as burning your opponent. Uh, pretty solid card in my opinion. Usually you'd want to save one just in case you need to activate uh, proc Frenzy, um, but for the other one you can use it for other ways. Uh, you can also combo it with Outnumber the Living just to play it raw, um, and that could be really good in, in pinches where you need to fight for board. Necronomics is your bread and butter for the combo. Deal 5 damage to your god, refresh 5 mana. Sometimes you don't need the second one depending on how much burn you can do or how much damage you can do uh, to your opponent. Um, but overall this card is busted. 1 mana for 4 mana. <laughs> you spend 1 card for 5 mana, that's pretty good. Technically it's 4 mana but you get the deal. Siren of the Grave is your stall card. Uh, I've gone over this in the guide before, but make sure you wait as long as possible before you can play it. Uh, it's very important to get this card in the grave, but it's also um, very important that you use this card to manage your hand as well. Um, if you do have to play it early, that's completely fine because you have the other Siren of the Grave, but just be wary or just be careful. Sulfuric Rain, this card is one of your cards to... It, it essentially achieves both what... Uh, it both conditions that you need to stall and you need to draw. Uh, it procs Siren of the Grave effect while also giving synergy to uh, your zombie summoning cards to allow for extra cycle. Super good card in my opinion. It's must include in the deck. Burring Scarab. Uh, this card doesn't need to be in the deck in my opinion, but it is nice to have the two draw. Um, you can replace this card with like a High Roller or a Fanatic of Canoom or a half, just a Nibble if you need to. But overall, I like this card. You, It's a 2-mana 1-1 one, one that draws 2 cards. You wouldn't want to play this card on in the aggro matchup because it would give your opponent a lot of resources to deal with. But uh, against a control matchup, it's very good. It can also force situations where you force your opponent to overdraw, which is also very good in my opinion. But yeah, great card. Gets you to your cards faster. Uh, you can also reuse it with Half-Life and Canopic Hoarder. And you can use Blood Ritual to heal. Blood Ritual on it to heal, which is a plus. Eva is going to be your MVP in the aggro matchup. You'd want to want to look for this card in particular. Uh, it's just really good for the stats it gives or for the effects. Um, yeah, you open with Eva against an aggro deck, you're pretty much winning. Mark of Death. All right, this card is pretty good. I'm including two because it's a must of. It's it's part of our win condition. But uh, it's a very good card if you play it raw as well, uh, especially when you pair it with your uh, extra copy of Outnumber the Living or Mass Race. Uh, this card will help you fight for board as well as ad summoning additional zombies to proc Skull Scepter's effect. If you need heal, you can do that. Also, the Bless effect is pretty good too because you can either give yourself favor, you can... There's an option where you can give your opponent favor and deal three damage to their god, so that procs Frenzy in itself. And then there's also an option where um, you can summon an additional zombie, and that can help you with your outnumber the um, outnumber of the living corpse explosion combo. Very good card overall. Very versatile. Um, it's not just a combo piece. You can also just play it raw, which is good. Skull Scepter. This card. You know what? Originally, I omitted this card from the deck, but after playing with it, it just it just makes your deck so much better. It makes the deck so much better because it does more damage if your opponent has doesn't have relic removal, which means you don't have to rely on the full combo. Uh, also, you're killing your minions the whole time. Uh, Siren of the Grave, Sulfuric Rain, Burring Scarab, you're killing that. Eva, well, you 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 want to kill Eva, right? Like you just want to kill all your minions, and Skull Scepter allows you to. 
uh, adds on to that by not only killing your minions, activating their afterlife effects, but also doing damage to your opponent so that you reach critical bit breakpoints that don't need the full combo for Corpse Explosion. And that'll give you more flexibility and freedom during the game. Very good card. I'm running two copies because uh, Relic Removal is a thing. Um, oh, it, it also serves as a way to proc Frenzy. I totally forgot about that. That's like one of the main reasons why you want to draw Skull Scepter because it makes the combo a lot easier to run. Uh, and it makes you... It, it's, it allows you to not rely on Brimstone because sometimes Brimstone can be uh, a detriment. But yeah, great card. Half-Life. Uh, not much to say about this card. Let's you reuse your afterlife effects. Um, I'll typically use this for Siren of the Grave most of the time because that stall is super important. But in pinches or in positions where you have to fight for board and Half-Life is a good option, uh, you can use that to either resummon a Vrock or an Eva and just uh, trade with your opponent's minions. Very good card in my opinion. Uh, makes the deck Makes the deck work. Outnumber the living, this is your bread and butter. Summon one zombie for each enemy creature. If you're frenzied, summon two for each. Really easy to get this off, especially when you have Skull Scepter on or Brimstone. Um, not much to say here. Sometimes you don't even need to proc the frenzy because of how much stall you do and your opponent's just going to fill up their board. So you can look for those situations and take advantage of it. But overall, solid card. I run. You run two. For sure. Um, the zombie summoning cards serve as a way to heal, but also serve as a way to draw uh, with Sulfuric Rain. Um, so although they, it seems kind of unintuitive to include two of, it, uh, it's it's your win condition. You must include two. Also, it, it serves as a way to pitch for Siren of the Grave. So that's something that... Or, uh, the extra copy can also serve as a way, as a card you can pitch for Siren of the Grave. So that's that's useful in some situations. Vrock, super good card, 3 mana, 4-2, You lets you draw, lets you cycle, but also gives you a body on board that you can trade with other minions. That's always nice to have, especially in the aggro matchup where you, you kind of need to fight for board early on. So, great card. It's also really reusable with Half-Life. This turns it, Half-Life turns into a 4 damage spell that lets you draw a card. Super good. Next up we have Mass Rays. So I decided to include like, one copy of Mass Rays. Um, because in some matchups you'll want it, um, especially in matchups that don't summon a lot of minions like board wipe death. Uh, outnumber the living will be good most of the, will be sufficient most of the time, but in those in some situations you're going to need the mass raise. And uh, overall, the mass raise is super good. It's one more mana than outnumber the living though. So um, instead of reaching, if you plan on playing this card, you need to have eight mana to play the full combo with corpse explosion. But other than that, it's solid. Also, uh, turn four if you can proc the frenzy effect, summon this. If you have Skull Scepter, it's three, ad three, three to five additional damage, depending on if you proc the Frenzy. Super good card in the deck. Can be useful. Uh, and if it's not useful, pitch with Siren of the Grave. That's it. Next up, Canopic Hoarder. This card is a really important style card in the deck, especially when you have Siren of the Grave in the, in the grave. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's essentially when you play this card and you have all the afterlife minions that you need, it's a stall plus a draw, which is what your win condition entails, right? So uh, works with the game plan really well. Also has one health, so it synergizes with Blood Ritual if you need the extra heal. Yeah, good card. Corpse Explosion. Corpse Explosion is how you deal your damage. Uh, great card. You can deal up to 18 points of damage. 24 if you uh, have the Skull Scepter on board. Super good. Yeah, this card is busted. Sometimes you only need to play one to win, which is which is good. But in some in most match not most, but in matchups where your opponent will be at full health, you'll play both. And lastly, we have the trial begins. Uh this card serves as a way to thin your deck while also looking for cards that you need in certain situations. I'll tend to use this card to search for Ava or Vrock or Siren of the Grave. Um, Burning Scarab in control matchups. Overall, this card is super good. Um, some situations you'll want to uh, discard it in Siren of, with Siren of the Grave. This, but for the most part, it's a it's a solid card that you can use to use to find. 
important minions in the matchup. Cool. And last but not least, we're going to go over Sanctum priority. That's damage. Uh, so for Sanctum, you want to priori prioritize the damage cards like the staff or the rune of power or anything else that can deal damage to your opponent. Then you want to focus on draw. So if you get the one one two mana one one that lets you draw, or the uh, rune of the 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 rune that lets you draw one for C two, um, that's what you usually want to do. And then after after that, it's everything else like threats for sure, minions. Um, but yeah, anything that advances your game plan essentially. And that's pretty much it for the deck guide. Um, I'm going to finish off the video by uh, adding a couple of games that I played this past week uh, just to show you how the deck plays. Overall, super fun. I really encourage y'all to try it out because I think it has a lot of potential, especially in the metagame. Um, there are certain, nu certain nuances that you have to learn in matchups in particular. Board Wipe Death, you definitely do not want to put yourself in situations where you overdraw. So you have to play cards as soon as possible, uh, as soon as you get it. And you want to save Siren of, Siren of the Grave. Saving that is most important so that you don't set yourself up for uh, those kinds of turns. But yeah watch out for that and deception control where they steal your deck if they play that five mana card that steals a card from your hand um you'd want to go face as much as possible so that you can uh you don't have to rely on the double corpse explosion combo you can just rely on the single corpse explosion combo yeah uh there are a ton of other like matchup nuances that you have to learn with the deck but overall uh the game plan is pretty simple summon minions attack face cycle stall as much as possible control your opponent's board control tempo and then draw into your combo to win game yeah all right well that's pretty much it uh feel free to enjoy the rest of the video where you can see gameplay um other than that if you like this kind of content please like the channel subscribe to it and uh share the video other than that thank you guys so much and i uh, hope y'all have a great week all right let's do it Oh, hopefully we can squeak out a win here. Oh, fuck, it's against Deception. That's not good. Don't be control Deception. Don't be control Deception. Actually, we want to draw, right? Misery. Fuck, it's Thief Deception. This is not looking good. Okay, he's going to start filling up his hand. That's fine. I think we fight for tempo here. So I'm going to fight for tempo. He kills a half life. Stone skin poison. Okay, we're burning his removal. That's really good. I'm cool with that. Memory skull scepter. Proc the damage. It's probably like, what the hell? Why is my opponent running Skull Scepter? Little do you know. Okay. Oh, thank gosh. We can Blight Bomb here. We can Blight Bomb here. Now what? 
save the side under the grave. We're most likely going to be using one of these cards to draw with Sulfuric Rain. We can just Half-Life the Vrock and be a little spicy, but I don't know. It might be a little weird. It might be a little awkward to run. Ah, Thief Deception. Okay. After you use your God Power, copy a random card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Oh no. I don't really want him to use a God Power, right? Can I just Half-Life this? Okay, that's not bad. Okay, that's a bomb. What did what does that say? Stolen plans? Fuck. Please don't please don't take my card. Okay, we're good. So this is good. This nets us three to draw. I don't even need to think I need to play Siren of the Grave here. One. Two. Three. Yeah. I can draw one card here, but that would take a lot. That would be a lot. I think I discard the trial. I mean, I could just trial Ava. That seems like a play. Trial Ava. They want to be fast, though. I want to be fast in getting all these cards. Okay, that's a Deuteria. Okay, that's a Thievery. Stolen plans, it's fine. Probably gonna use outnumber the living next turn. That's gonna be good for us. Oh, another trial. So we're at eight cards in hand. Playing the Siren, dumping the Trial into the Sulfuric Rain. Doesn't seem too bad. Honestly, this sounds funner. Funner. In a frenzy, we're gonna use the mass rays here. Because we don't have to use the Siren of the Grave yet, in my opinion. Blood armor. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, now we have to use it. But at least we can use this as a draw, as a form of suedo draw. So how do we do this? This is probably one, two, three, four, five, six. It's eight, eight cards. Eight cards. Okay, this is Siren of the Graveable. I'm 
I'm going to discard the trial begins. Then we one, two. We want to end up with eight, right? So we sulfuric rain here. And then we do this. That's pretty okay. Yeah. This is actually game. Fia doesn't have any answers. He passes. Beautiful. Oh, come on. Come on. Dude, just let me get my OTK. Gosh. What is this? We're gonna try this again. I wanna get, I wanna get this. That was it, that was the OTK. Okay, we're playing against nature, so we should probably look for the Eva. Eva. Skull Scepter is decent. I don't know, man. Fock is pretty good. We open up Siren. That's really good. Okay. It's acceptable. Uh, I'm gonna open Skull Scepter. It's probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> Selena's Mark? That's interesting. Alright, well, we're summoning the Rock. Rock Obama. Second Necro Scepter or Necronomics. It's not bad. I also have Scarab for next turn, so that's good. He has no answer to the Scepter yet. Turn four, we'll see if he has the answer. Oh, okay. So he just trades. Just wants to. Oh. Okay, so he just uses his removal. Oh my goodness. Where is the corpse explosion? <sighs> All right, what do I do here? I can dig for the Eva and then summon the Scarab. I mean, we're like super far off from the combo. So, I mean, I'm okay with that. Uh, there's no point in waiting, right? We just play the Eva. Gonna have to get to seven mana the old fashioned way. In all honesty, that's good for us. See if it's gonna put in work. <laughs> We're gonna have damage. This is a crazy sanctum look. Okay, so he's gonna sacrifice the Eva. Or he's gonna kill the Eva with the canopy barrage. That's interesting. Okay. 
K. Ah, uh, yeah. He had it. Oh, hey, that's, that's nice. What should we do? I mean, he wouldn't have two sources of weapon removal, right? All right. <sighs> We're going to have to start saw stalling soon. Okay, so he attacks. Okay, that's good for us. Oh my goodness, we are two corpse explosions away. Oh, that's a moose. Okay. We definitely have to try to survive. Stall for two turns. Oh, nope, we cannot stall for two turns. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's 11. Damn. Ow, 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 that's a half-life, that's not bad. Half-life into what though? To a rock? Half-life, rock, siren? Dude, I don't know. We can't discard anything else. We gotta do Scarab. We're not overdrawing here. That's fine. We need to keep the Blight Bomb. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah, we need to keep the Blight Bomb. We're probably not going to use a Siren of the Grave. Kill the Mass Rays? Yeah, the Mass Rays is probably the worst. There's one out of all of us. Oh, no, Mass Rays. I'm gonna use the brimstone. No, we don't. Use the brown. Okay, that's fine. How do we do this? How do we stay alive? I mean, I could have also, ow. Oh. Uh, yeah. 
this, this, and we end. Okay, that's not bad. We get more stall in. You're so close, dude. So close. Just give me the answers. Oh my god. Siren of the Grave, cannot pick hoarder. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Oh, we make him overdraw. That's kind of cool. <sighs> Stressful. This is a stress ball change. Can't even get the burring scare about. Oh, that's a brimstone. That's kind of nice. Okay. We gotta heal. <sighs> we have to heal, don't we? Yeah. Then we gotta save this half-life for the next Siren of the Grave, because you know that's gonna happen. Okay. Let's heal. God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Give me the outnumber of the living. Summon is, what is that? Okay, yeah, summon more. That's okay. I actually like that. Corpse explosion, is that it? Is that GG? That's 21, six, six, 21, this is 18, 18 damage, plus 2, plus 6, 18 plus 2, 26, motherfucker, we did it. Okay, now we just, don't fuck this up, just do it. There we go, alright, slow and steady. Yes, we fucking did it. Excuse my French. Right? Was that not it? No, that was it. Okay, we're good. See, I, 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 I can do math. GG. Ah. <sighs>